Oh, well, that's Francis's strike. That's a hot rod bike there. Huh? That's your strike. That's a hot rod there, yeah? Yeah. That's a cool bike. It is cool. <laughs> That's pretty neat. You got your basket on there. You can go to the store and get something you need to, huh? Yeah. That's far out. Picked up two dozen eggs from neighbors the other day. <laughs> get some of them good brown eggs. Mm -hmm. Hauled them all the way from back across the lake over there. Uh huh? Didn't break any. <laughs> Didn't break the eggs, huh? Uh -uh. Okay, that's far. I got I got both of them down in the picture. Okay, that's rolling. Yeah, now that's a two wheel recumbent, and you made it electric too, huh? Yeah. That's slick looking. Electric bike. Well, that's slick. Ooh. How's that? That's cool looking. Huh? Look like a real chopper with a big front, uh, big rear wheel, and the yeah. small little one. That's the whole wheel and off in the big bike. Oh, that's off the electric bike, the that's whole back wheel. wheel. And, and you got. The battery again, one battery on this one. Well, I got two, so the other one slid. Oh, under. okay. Yeah, the other battery stuck underneath. I didn't have room for the one in here, so I, I, I reworked this, and this wasn't quite right, and I reworked it, and I slid one under here. I said, I'm not going to have her have two batteries and need one. So you got like a spare, you can go out, and if one battery starts yeah. going down, you just switch your battery out. So, so that was the same like motor mount was on the other bike because you moved the whole wheel and everything, yeah? yeah? Right. All the mounts just had to put a different bolt in here, basically. Well, that wheel's bigger than the one that was on the bike? Yeah. That, yeah, okay. That was a 20 inch on the back, and I put a 26, so it's three inches bigger from here to here. And it still fits in there? Well, I had to take some of the, uh, the fender. They oh. They jack my, my spring, my uh, torsion spring up so that it keeps it still. Uh -huh. If I hit a bump, the tire will hit a little bit. There's got to be a big bump. That front wheel really looks small on there. Yeah. That's not a problem, though. Uh, it's a little bit of a problem, but you get used to it. Hmm. We'll come in and look closer at this motor and stuff, how it's put on there. So how many speeds is on this bike? 21. Good grief. They're both 21. They're 3 plus 7. This and one you, had 29. And you get all the speeds with the electric too? No. You just get one speed electric? Right. Okay. And so usually I just keep it in, you know, 2 and so about 22 speed is what I got it on. But you can't change the speeds when you're driving electric, it's just... Yeah, you can change the speeds. Oh, you can? On the on the pedals, yeah, while you're driving it, yeah. Oh, okay. So if you want don't want to pedal as much or if you want to pedal more you can gear it down. We got a basket that tips up. We got the two batteries and the motor and the extra chain. So you get around so I can see that motor. That's a curry motor. Yeah. It turns the chain right under that center sprocket. It's got an idler so it only goes one way. An idler, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. On the sprocket. And that's the controller that used to go on the handlebar. And when you press that, the, <laughs> the bike goes. Far out. Okay, so you see you take a ride there. Yeah, so you don't really need the pedal. But Well, it's quiet. Well, 
Well, that's a cool bike. Huh? That is a cool 